Hey there everyone, Sal here. You may have noticed a new map. We're on 310, a nice open field, and this is where I can do a lot of playtesting. We're scaling up from one prologue. So, first of all, let's give a gift to our big friend Bastian, who is going to do the animation showcase today. We've got wind, and let's give a small gift in the form of some warp powder. There we go. I must admit, Wind is currently the weakest of all the animations, but I still think there are some bangers in there. So let's take a look. First off, we have Cleaving Gale. I'll go through all the normal animations first and then the on-map animations. Pretty much a Cleaving Gale. I was hoping to find a camera angle that showed it a little bit sooner, but this was the best I could do for now. Next up, Zephyr, and I presume that this was an unused beta animation for Wind Magic. I do think that this is one of the weaker ones, and I really hope that I can at some point import the Path of Radiance ones. But still, it's unique, and looks pretty windy and magical to me, so for now, this is what we're working with. Next up, we have Wilderwind, also probably an unused Wind Magic, and Although I do like it, the camera angle doesn't really do it justice. You can see all the wind twirling around. Really symmetrical, but it doesn't really have that zoomed out effect that I'm looking for. I wasn't able to find something that I was really happy with. Next off, we have Vimblevetter, and you probably know this one from somewhere. That is the wind tail from the spirits that you see in the tower. Next up we have Hurricane, and these names are always going to be subject to change. I don't think Hurricane fits for this one, but I was hoping to find a bigger spell at the time. It's from the Tempest Blade. And then lastly we have Shaver, which is from the Storm Sword. Once again, I still think Wind is kind of the weakest link right now in the magic system, but I do really still like some of these, especially the wind tail and this one as well with just the tome, like the, the wind that cleaves through the air, it, yeah, it really sells it to me. Next up, let's go to the map animations. And you may have noticed, these animations actually, when you warp, change color depending on what kind of unit you are. So we'll make a quick save state. And here we have Cleaving Gale. It's a lot better to see it this way. It still does decent damage and it really does feel impactful. Then we've got Zephyr. As per usual, this one also still needs to fit on the right target. But I feel a lot more comfortable with putting this one on the enemy because it's of course not used anywhere else. You'll probably expect the same with World of Wind. And here you can heal you can really see that it does feel like a big wind tone, but it's just very open and airy and it doesn't really connect with the enemy. Then we've got the wind tail, but we know that one already from the tower. But still, it looks really good. And then we've got Hurricane, the Tempest Blade, we all, we all know and love that one. And lastly, we have Shaver. Apologies for the double save state. And that's what we've got right now for the Wind Magic. I hope you've enjoyed. If you want to know more about Daybreak, then join the Discord below, or maybe check out some of the streams. And since I recently got the 1000 subscriber mark on YouTube, I also want to do a Q&A session. So if you have any questions about Daybreak, or about what I do, or anything else you want to know, please ask them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Sal out.